and we're back so it's been a little while since i saw you guys some time has passed i'm not gonna lie um things just got crazy we got a little under the weather we're better now um what's going on today we've got a couple uh things planned landon yeah. we're gonna do two kinds of chicken a beer can chicken a spatchcock chicken and we're gonna finish landon's fort over there so follow along as we get our day started all right, uh, change of plans. We're only gonna do one bird now. The bird that I got is from a coworker. She raised a bunch of chickens and recently had them uh, processed. Got a couple from her and these things are massive. It's like a borderline turkey. So we're just gonna do a spatchcock version of this, throw it on the pit, follow along, and uh, let's get this thing started. All right, in traditional spatchcock way got backbone here we're just going to take some shears and remove it out the whole reason for this is it's gonna cook uh, more evenly and a little bit faster and we get smoke and heat over the entire uh, chicken so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove I'm gonna get up underneath the skin peel back all this skin I'm gonna season the meat and I'm gonna put the skin right back over the top of it because uh, seasoned skin is delicious but seasoned meat is even better All right, so just a homemade rub, uh, a lot of garlic, some pepper, um, a little bit of sugar. I use this on my pork butt, but we'll try it with chicken. I don't think you can go wrong at all. Like with any meat that I season, I like it to set up. The salt kind of brings the moisture out. It lets it kind of bind to the meat. And we're just gonna throw this on the uh, pit. See how fast that thing ignited? That's one of kind of the tricks that I learned when you're using one of these offset smokers. You want to kind of preheat one of the logs. So I have my fire towards the back and I'm gonna set this one right here. That way, once I throw it towards the main fire, it ignites instantly. Thanks YouTube for that. All right, it wouldn't be much of one of our episodes without putting a shout out to our chickens. Coming along actually pretty nicely. Hopefully we get some eggs pretty soon. And this. 
Last time I left you guys, um, it's really hard to film and construct something, at least the way I construct things, totally unorganized, and it's a little bit difficult doing that uh, while I'm trying to film and come up with good footage for it. So I'm gonna do my best to finish this fort and get it on film for you guys. Uh, Landon needs his fort. I told him he's gonna get a fort. Um, I'll give you a little brief little tour. Got some studs there. Put the, build a little top form up here. You can come and stand on, stand on this. So uh, hopefully I can get some good film for you guys. Show you just how, uh, how not to do things. So follow along. What do you think of it so far? Oh. I'm not gonna get it out. Oh, no, I ain't gonna go with you. Yeah. What do you think? You like it so far? Yeah. Okay, I gotta put the roof on though. Okay. Okay? You wanna help? No, I'm gonna go try. I'm gonna get it out of here. I know, we're gonna get up there soon. You just gotta give me a minute. I gotta put a roof on. Okay. Okay? Again, I left some of you guys out. Not very good with the whole building filming thing yet, but I'm getting it down. As you can see, got the top on, put some stairs right here. Then I'll build a railing along the outside so we can go and stand up on top of the roof. So come along nicely. All right, dinner was good. Thanks for asking. Uh, what we got, look, check it out. I got the roof on. Let's see if we can stand on it I think it works so the hole right here I want to put ladder but overall I think it was a pretty good good day glad to be back next time you see me hopefully this thing is done uh, dinner was great and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.